Hi guys, welcome back to Yon channel Technical Sahil. Today's video is the 11th video in this playlist and from this video to the upcoming next 5 to 6 videos we are going to look at what's the main highlight of this tutorial series. We are going to see how to sell web hosting services from here on. Until now the previous 10 videos was just a build up, gathering, installing and linking all the essential things which is needed to automate the workflow of any web hosting business but today's video marks as the start of the reason why we have been followed that lengthy process till now. We'll begin by selling shared hosting first and if you have been following this tutorial series from the beginning you will already know that I did not start it like uh, explaining what is shared hosting or web hosting or the other types of web hosting yes in the course introduction I have showed you different types of hosting that I sell on my website which is hostrigger.net and said if you follow this uh, course till the end you too will be able to sell all these types of hosting but I have not explained what are these types and what are uh, domain what's web hosting because I believe you already know about the product or service which you are here to sell but if I try to explain in a basic way and less words shared hosting is the type of hosting that you usually buy it when you are starting your online journey with a basic website or a blog to understand this in a technical terms a server which is essentially a normal computer but with some specialized software packages installed on it. If you want to know the difference between a server and a local computer and how to make your local computer a server, you will find a video about that in the description in which I have made my local PC a web server. But anyways, in the web hosting world that one server computer is called as dedicated server. Parts of that dedicated server are sectioned off like its specifications, its configurations are divided into several parts which is called as virtual private server or VPS which we currently have and within that VPS separate users has been created and multiple websites are hosted within those users. That is we call as shared hosting means smaller computers created one big computer for example let's assume a number. 10 smaller computers are made up from a computer with 100 GB of RAM has 10 GB of RAM and within those 10 GB smaller computers different non-administrator users are being created and given a separate accesses just like in our local windows pc where there is a main administrator user and from that admin user we create additional user profiles and grant them a specific access to any folder or file the content they store the host can only be seen by them not by other users with similar with similar access created by admin so that's the basic concept of how shared hosting works if you're an absolute beginner in this field then i know that understanding these type of complicated things can be hard by just casually talking about them however the curriculum and objective of this course is different and it does not allow me to explain these things in a separate videos but if there is any topic or subject that you did not understand from my brief explanation and you want to know more about that please let me know through a email or comments or whatsapp and i will make a dedicated video on it Anyways, now let's see how to create and offer web hosting packages on our website like GoDaddy, Hostinger or Namecheap companies like Do. So first we need to log into our WHM panel as root. And here we need to search package and click add a package now here we need to define the name and the specifications we want to offer in our package I have already created some sample packages uh, basically three shared hosting packages to save some time and believe me this is just a random number this is just like to show you how to create packages and I have mentioned many times previously that don't follow me strategy wise only follow me the steps wise 
like how to do it what to do is it's totally up to you like what are the services what are the products you want to offer on what price on what configuration it's simply up to you i am just showing you how to do it so first let me copy the name of the package from here you can name it anything uh, just make sure that's the same name uh, you create here and inside the whmcs now in the disk space quota we can define how many uh, mbs or gbs we want to allow like i have 10 gb so this is 10 gb but it's just a method to save some mb uh, because we need to use calculators at some point of time and this will not just uh, helps us in creating the packages in a faster way but to save some mb of our server so that's why it's good if you write uh, 10,000 means we want to define it in a MB so we plan to sell 10 GB then obviously we need to write 10,000 and monthly uh, bandwidth limit we can define the maximum we can allow is this number uh, which we have but we just need 100 GB for this plan so 100 GB guys maybe I've noticed one thing uh, besides every option there is a option either we can select any number or we can go with unlimited if you choose unlimited it will show uh, a customer inside the C panel that is infinite symbol which indicates that the customer has a unlimited storage and this is simply a cheating with the customer means it's a complete lie as I have mentioned earlier server is just a computer and computer had disk types you can either insert 500 GB or 500 TB but this has a limit whatever disk you has there is uh, currently as far as my knowledge has there is no one in the tech market creating some solid state drives or hard drives that has a capability of unlimited storage so if you choose unlimited here it will show in the cPanel unlimited but if your customer is a bit smart nowadays customers are very smart so if they research a bit and figure out that what's the matter of unlimited and i'll show you how a customer can also track if you choose unlimited then a customer from his c panel can see that how what's the actual space you has means if you set unlimited then it will show the actual space of your server has when uh, we were on that video when we were demonstrating the order i'll show you this thing but for now it's a uh, up to you but it's a complete lie and if either a person or a company has a image of liar then maybe a truth sometimes becomes a lie of that person or a company so it's my recommendation it's my request to be as transparent as much as you can rest are the uh, your decision i can't interfere i am just here to show you how to do it so i will stick to that max ftp accounts uh, 10 FTP I'll allow in this plan similarly 10 email accounts mailing list also I'll do the same uh, 10 databases subdomains add-on domains let's say 5 5 because we'll allow 5 to 6 websites when we write in a simple words in whmcs we write that we allow five to six websites dynamic or static in this plan so yeah, i am writing five five everywhere and here i request you to uh, set it like 100 because it's if you increase the number here that means a customer a shared hosting customer can sell how many number of emails per hour from that shared hosting plan so it's not good to set a big number here because the attack customer will send huge emails and maybe this will contains either an ip blacklisting or a spamming kind of thing you are selling shared hosting not a bulk email solutions so i think 100 uh, is by default and it's good and that's max quota per email address we have given 10 gb here so how we can set unlimited here so it's good if we set 1 gb 
and if you have multiple ips you can you want to dedicate one ip to the customer uh, you can check it from here otherwise uh, one ip is enough for all the plans cgi access by default selected shell access if you want to give your customer a terminal access from that username not root from that username the customer can log in through putty or uh, mobile stream any other ssh client you can check this option otherwise i think it's enough for the shared hosting plan so click add now let me add two more plans which is shared advanced and the space we will set 50 gb that means 50000 and here we set 500k rest are the things 50 50 10 10 10 so we will set 50 50 50 10 Now in the similar way we add our third and final plan which is shared enterprise. Hundred thousand, hundred hundred. Hundred, hundred, twenty, twenty, twenty. Now we are done from WHM and now we need to log in to our WHM CS admin panel. And from here we need to go to the system settings and search product and click this product and services. We need to confirm to our admin password once again. Now here we first need to create a new group. And our group name is shared hosting. You can also define a headline or a tagline, tagline if you wish uh, to write anything. The layout uh, will change in the later videos rest are the things like available payment gateways We currently don't have any payment gateway. That's why it's not showing here once we add the payment gateway It will automatically add it here But right now I think it's okay for creating a group. So click save change Back to product list and here we can create a new product product type shared hosting and here we can also uh, choose the same group shared hosting product name we will copy from here which is shared basic here I think uh, it automatically picks up but uh, it has not picked up I don't know why so we can just uh, type it manually now this is important if you go with no module here 
there is no mean to create the same package whm and even connection establish a connection between whm and whmcs because no automation will get performed if you go with no module so make sure to always select c panel if you are connecting if you are trying to connect your this plan with the whm plan which we have created so that the customer will place an order on whmcs and it will get automatically provisioned on whm and no we don't want to hide this product but make sure to select c panel here and click continue now it's asking for the product description we will for now we will uh, copy the same product description and it's asking us for uh, email the email content the custom email templates we will see once uh, we are done with some hosting plans we reach that video but for now yeah uh, we can set a uh, hosting account welcome email and required domain make sure to check this option because hosting requires domain either the domain has been purchased from your website or the customer already want to use that existing domain he has so make sure to check this option and you can apply tax we have configured tax so we can apply the tax and pricing this is the price pricing structure of uh, selling any products on whmcs uh, we can distribute it free which is i think uh, you're not looking for one time hosting is a recurring uh, thing like subscription thing so we can't offer it one time but yeah if we are selling any digital uh, product like any downloadable item then we can set this one time but we are selling a subscription item and all those currencies which we have added in the previous videos have shown it here so we can either enable any currency that means every currency we want to show but if we set the amount of one currency on the next day when cron job runs it will automatically uh, add and update the other currencies pricing according to the latest conversion which we have seen in the recent video uh, when we have configured the currency so we only need to define like uh, let's say uh monthly cost of this plan is uh, 99 inr which is something like 1.25 dollars and the annual is triple nine means 12 dollars something per year now here we does not have to do much thing and we simply need to go module settings if you did not select c panel here uh this uh, list will not be visible uh, which we have created recently in the whmcs the whm panel uh, if you have selected c panel here but still it's not show, not showing here then you can once uh, click here to refresh the values but if you have not if your whm and whmcs are not connected or you have not created any plan here or you have not selected any module here means any misconfiguration won't show a list here will not uh, fetch the list but if it's fetching that means everything is perfect and you can simply select shared basic and don't need to change anything uh, in the metric billing because we have already set it here just make sure to perform the automation select this option automatically set up the product as soon as the first payment is received this option will automatically provision the plans when the customer has been uh, paid its invoice means it's not wait for you to check the order and we will obviously we will integrate automatic payment gateways automatic payment capture so we don't need to manually mark the order as paid or unpaid so yeah make sure to select this option and click save changes now we don't need custom fields uh, unless or until you want to ask any question to your customer uh, while ordering shared hosting also we uh, does not require configurable options right now upgrades we can't do because this is our uh, first plan so once we create more plans then it would be visible here and we can simply uh, check the upgraded plans means if the customer want to upgrade from shared basic what's the next option of course shared advance and from shared advance uh, shared enterprise so right now we have only one plan that's why this list is empty and free domain we can offer uh, by clicking here 
एंड ऑन वट टर्म लाइक वन टाइम और एनुअली और मंथली दिस इज नॉट गुड फॉर मंथली क्वार्टरली और सेमी एनुअली बिकॉज द कस्टमर इफ टेकन अ होस्टिंग फॉर अ मंथ एंड टेकन अ डोमेन एंड यू हैव गिवन द फ्री डोमेन नेम फॉर अ ईयर विच कॉस्ट यू टेन टू ट्वेल्व डॉलर पर ईयर देन इट्स नॉट गुड if the customer does not renew that uh, hosting from next month and the domain would become useless for you because you either can't take a refund from your domain provider through the api you are using because domain can't be refunded as far as my knowledge has the domain items has not been refunded because once it's registered it's registered so it's good always to uh, if you wish to offer a free domain so select this annual term and select tlds uh the list of tlds which we have added when configuring the domain reseller api uh, is mentioned here you can select uh, as many extensions as you want uh, we'll see in the third plan how we can offer a domain but right now i think uh it's enough for shared basic now let's add our other plan which is shared advance so click a new product shared hosting shared hosting shared advance shared advance modules e panel click continue uh product description copy from here apply tax required domain pricing it's recurring and we want to enable all the currencies and we wish to offer either monthly or annually so let's say 159 means almost 2 dollars and 20 dollars uh, for yearly and in the module settings this time we will select the shared advance automatically set up the product as soon as payment receive and click save changes now let's add our third and final plan which is shared enterprise C panel and continue. In this plan, we will uh, see how we can offer a free domain for first year because we have written here free dot com domain pricing. Uh, let me enable the currencies from here. and it's 199 inr which means 2 and a half dollars per month or 25 dollar something from year module setting we will check this shared advance uh, sorry shared enterprise automatically set up the product as soon as the first payment is received and now if we wish to offer a free domain so first we have to offer a free domain registration uh, or transfer only renew as normal and we want to select the annual term and we wish to offer a free dot com and domain with this hosting plan if someone has registered for year i have selected the one uh, domain extension so it's easy for me to click here if you want to offer more domain extensions what you need to do is simply press the control and check all those extensions you wish to offer and once you are done uh, you can save changes and if you want to unselect simply do the same press control and click those 
extensions which you want to deselect and when it's done click save changes now we have created all of our uh, shared hosting uh, three plans now let's see how it's looking currently Uh, it's showing category wise and it's uh, showing all the plans uh, Technically, it's all perfect. Don't worry about the look and feel about the website design We will change the entire thing the entire layout once we are done with some set of things. So That's all for this video and thanks for watching